Hey all, it's Crazed Excite bringing you our first clan battle that we've ever played together as a clan, and it was a search and destroy um, game actually, which is odd. Uh, we normally play on headquarters, and we will be in the future whenever we put the rest of ours up, but this clan was brought to our attention. They left a comment on one of our uh, previous videos. I can't remember exactly which. We have so many! But, this is it, and I put this picture up here just so I could tell you guys a little bit about that and not miss on commentating on any of the gameplay. But I'm afraid that I may have just lost half my viewers to porn. So those of you who are still here, congratulations. We're all very proud of you, very dedicated. So this is Belief. Uh, I wasn't in this game, but I can tell by his emblem. I'm recording this off theater mode. And so he has a pretty typical start. Uh, usually you have two guys go to the right side when you spawn there. And because that's a nice spawn snipe. And then he picks up two pretty little kills right in the middle of that truck. But he gets shot in the face because he refused to move. You know, like being Mr. Cocky Pants, hanging out, trying to kill everyone. This is Scopes, now this is who's just dropped you, oh my god, this video is like 37 clips I just spliced together, because I wasn't in the game, so I couldn't just record it there. And takes out one guy, and there we go, the second guy, misses his first shot, and he had the liberty of being able to take a second one, because he wasn't looking at him, and he sneaks up behind the house, this team was being terribly unobservant right now, three, picks up three kills right, right behind each other, nobody looks his way. Now we go back, throws a tomahawk, dropped you again. And most of our team rushes to the right side, and they put themselves in a really, really bad crossfire. And that is not what you want to do, and they're all dead now, leaving Lonesome Little dropped you to hang out in the back of the map, which is really your best option whenever it's just one versus the rest of the clan. And as we picks up one, a long distance shot, and then he gets one going out the garage, another coming up the side. And so he's killed three of them, but he, he doesn't really have the uh, ability to kill all the rest of them now, just because he has to watch all these angles. He really only has four places that can come at them from now, but, you know, saying that, it's still, it's a monumental amount. And he can't do it, which is fine. I don't think many people could. And boy, drops down to the ground. It's always better to shoot from this prone position off the spawn than behind that little cement block that's uh, to his back left. Because they're going to consistently hit the ground in front of you. It's very common for people to shoot a little lower. And this is Hero, probably my favorite play of the game. He's really utilizing that cover he has. He's only exposing one part of his body at a time. And he manages to kill all of them doing that. All three of them, excuse me. And then that guy killed on the stairs. I don't know what the hell he was doing. Because the only vantage point he had was down the stairs. But that's exactly where Hero ran up. So I, I don't know, maybe he's bad. And then Hero's running out. He did run directly past the enemy. But I'm not going to make a comment about that. Because that would be embarrassing. But I just did. But he won, so it's alright. I'll put the little glass effect in there. Just for funsies. Oh! What's this kid doing? You can't, you can't quick scope upside down. You can't quick scope upside down. Nobody could do that. What are you doing? What's going on there? Huh? Oh, 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 he did it. All right, he did it upside down. Okay, I was getting dizzy. Back to normal. Back to real life. Ah, who is this? I have not the slightest idea in hell. This, is this boy? I think this is boy. All right, so we're following him, and boom. Alright, now dropped you, he makes a good kill there, and he sees someone in the window, and he takes a shot, and he misses, and he gets down, and then he gets right back up in the same exact spot. Never a good idea. He had another teammate running toward the house, he should have let him provide some cover fire, or he should have crawled forward a little bit, because that guy was still looking at the exact same spot, and he popped up right where he wanted him to. Alright, so he's going down the right side again, he had good luck there last time, uh, pulls up one quick, and then he switched to dropped you, he was just playing his hanky-panky doing 360s in the spawn. But it's alright, because he got it and he killed him. I think I slowed that down a little bit, just for funsies. And then, here he is, who's this hero, again, pulling up down the left side. And kills someone in this, what's it called, truck. And their their team seems to be clumping together, they usually travel in twos. Now when I say that traveling in twos, that's usually a fair good idea to do. But what they're doing is they're going twos and they're both looking in the same direction and moving in the same direction. You always want to have your team shooting in towards the middle of the map. You usually want uh, to five, five, two guys on the outsides and one in the middle, and you all want to be shooting in towards the enemy as opposed to being in the middle and shooting out, which uh, always leaves you more open. And he gets that really nice tomahawk off the spawn. Big fun. Uh, he gets two two little quick scopes there. There's a second one coming up here. Yes, there you go. All right, so he's holding down this back area, and they're starting to push up, so it's fine to hang back a little more. Um, and now we corner them all to the back right side of the map. So that's when you want to start pushing up is whenever you can get them in one area. And there he goes, scopes to his fancy little 360. Guess the kid wasn't paying too much attention. Um, and then here you go, he tries a silent shot, but he misses. And the kid runs up the stairs, and that was not a good idea. Uh, running up those stairs leaves you really, really vulnerable. He should have just stayed there. It was a one-on-one -on -one and tried to uh, go, you know, head-to-head -head with scopes. But he tried to run up stairs, get himself some more cover. 
and on the way he left himself really exposed. All right, see, oh, he had guys coming, and that was that was good play by them. They had they had enough people rushing at the same time that it just overwhelms you, <sighs> unless you can get the proper cover and organization, which we apparently could not. What is that behind? Is that a bike? I don't know what that was. Okay, so we're switching up. Um, we got two guys going to the right, two going to the left, one in the middle still. And they've started to push a little bit farther on the left side of their map, left side of Greenhouse. And there you go, come in middle. And this kid, you know what? I read recently that a bush does not make good cover. Uh, there was an article the army wrote saying, Bushes do not in fact stop bullets. I was very surprised by this, as I'm sure many of you will be when I tell you. And we win that round. All right, so here we go, back to the center. That one kid keeps running to the same exact spot every game. Someone kills him there. I don't know, I guess he just doesn't learn. Or maybe he's going to get lucky on these rounds. And see how we're doing? We're shooting into the center of the map instead of being in the middle and shooting out. And that's what you always want to do, because whenever you're on the sides of the map, your automatic cover is the fact that the boundary's there. And their team tends to be hiding behind those little corners, so that's why he's doing that 360, checking that out. There you go, somebody in the building, you really need to watch your back though, because you kill them in the uh, back so many times, coming up behind them. So at this point, there's one guy left that we're all looking for. Um, I think that he ends up hiding in the back in some vegetable garden. But you want to clump together a little more whenever there's one guy left, because if you spread out, then he can pick you off one by one if he's good enough. But he does, in fact, decide to come out of his little vegetable garden. I guess he picked all the carrots that he needed to make his dinner, and so now he's just he's coming out for a little fun. Unfortunately, he spilled his carrots when we shot him in the face. We won that round, and I respect that he dropped you still. Rushes to the middle, um, establishing his strong position up on front. And that's behind that sign, really good vantage point, because the slant allows you a lot of different angles to shoot from. And that's good. As he was reloading, he pulls back and comes back at the enemy from a different angle instead of just rushing down the same course that he was at. Now, Hero. Is this Hero again? Yeah. Hero's going, checking out the side. And now it's two of us left. And we have two of us, and we know that they're both on that side of the map still. And so they need to come through us at one point. And so Hero's going back into the house, I believe, to take up a position to watch out the window. And this guy's patrol in the middle. And boom, picks up one. And Hero calls out the second one, saying he got passed on the side. Now, the kid did make a bad choice by stopping right in that corner behind the chimney instead of running behind it, which is what he should have done, so he could just drop back uh, if he missed his shot against Hero. But Hero didn't miss anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Then we start back up this round, throwing our tomahawks. And he's kind of hanging out right in the open, which isn't that great of an idea, just because you should either be laying down or behind that cement block. Laying down is always my choice. But he ends up getting this nice little kill anyway. And then he sees this guy, misses his first shot, jumps down, and thankfully drops you over here. Also notices this guy and picks him off for him. Because communication is essential. you got to be calling people out, uh, helping your teammates. That's definitely the biggest part of these, these kind of things, these clan battles. And it's running out the middle, looking to the sides. That was lucky because he was in the middle looking out. Again, not the best idea, but he had the option, so he just went for it. And they've started to push up a little more. They're getting a little more desperate. So this gives us an opportunity to have half our team hang back on one side and the other push up on the other side, which makes this big area that you guys are all covering. And it makes them really have to split. You know, they have to commit one side or the other. The camp's kind of hang around. This guy's size foot. He doesn't know I can't hit him. He thinks he's just crouched, but he turns out to be down, which is not, I don't even know. I don't know what was going on his head when he was doing that. But we tomahawk him in the face. So going for the spawn snipes again. Gets one. Usually you get at least one of those. After I get one, I usually head out. But he decided to stay there. Test his luck. Because it's 7 to 4. And we're probably going to win this. So he gets that. Gets his blackbird. Calls it in for the last few kills. Oh, it's a blackbird. It begins pretty much over. It's really easy to win at that point. So everyone's pushing up now. We're all calling to each other. And they're they're you know they're struggling they're getting kind of desperate they know it's kind of over and so they're trying to hide up in this building here but there weren't enough of them to be able to secure it you usually need four people to secure that building just to get all the angles if you really want to get it down and then we finish off the game right here so that was our first clan battle I hope you guys enjoyed that if you did you know tell your friends come check us out and this is just a little picture I made we desperately need a graphics designer if anybody can do some sweet effects let me know. And uh, that was it. I will see you guys next time.